warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh good afternoon to each and every one of you so let's proceed with the continuation of our discussion for the juvenile delinquency and juvenile justice system so let's proceed with the diversion program so last time alam na natin yung diversion kung paano sila paano imbis na sa kulungan malagay o kaya imbis na sa Uh, korte dalhin ng bata so meron tayong diversion program na naangkop doon sa kanilang edad base doon sa <clears throat> batas ng ating Pilipinas so diversion program refers to the program that the child and conflict with the law so yung mga bata na may problema sa batas dahil meron mga silang ginagawa na hindi ka halihalina is required to undergo after he or she is found responsible for an offense without resorting to formal court proceedings. So, imbis na dalhin niya sinasabi natin, dadalhin natin sa isang korte. So, let's give them what is due to them. Kung anong nakasad sa batas, so yun ang ating uh, gagawin. So, what is youth detention home? So, ang definition lang ang lagi niyong tandaan. So, refers to an 24-hour child caring institution. It Ibig sabihin, 24-hour child caring ito, managed by an accredited local government units, and licensed and or accredited non-governmental organization, providing short-term residential care for children in conflict with the law who are awaiting court disposition of their cases or transfer to other agencies or jurisdiction. Yung mga, halimbawa, pwede rin dito yung uh, bahay pag-asa program ng ating government. So, Youth Rehabilitation Center refers to a 24-hour residential care facility managed by the DSWD. So, DSWD to Youth Rehabilitation Center, local government units, licensed or accredited non-governmental organizations monitored by the DSWD which provides care, treatment, and rehabilitation services for children in conflict with the law. So, yung mga bata, pati na yung mga drug addict for example. So, yan ang ating... Youth Rehabilitation Center. So, rights of the child in conflict the law of the law. So, meron tayong mga karapatang pambata na ipinapatupad, isinasa, na nakasaad sa ating batas. So, number one. What are those? Number one, the right not to be imposed a sentence of capital punishment or life imprisonment. May karapatan sila na huwag bigyan ng capital punishment or life imprisonment. The right to be detained or imprisoned as a disposition of last resort. Yung... Uh, which shall be for the shortest appropriate period of time. So, if ever na wala talagang uh, way para madetire ang batang yan, for example, ma mapanagot, o kaya dahil sobra yung kanyang behavior, bad behavior, so, hindi naman pang matagalan yung kanyang pag pagka-detain sa isang correctional facilities or jail. The right to be separated from adult offenders at all times. Of course, they are, uh, they cannot be, uh, Uh, be part of an institution wherein uh, it involves adult offenders, of course, during detention while being transported to and from the court and while uh, waiting for the hearing. So, mayroon silang karapatan na wag silang isama doon sa matatanda. The right to be detained only with other detainees of the sex, same sex, of course. Hindi pa pwede kung babae, tapos nalagay mo sa lalaki, no. So, babae lang. The right to be searched only by a law enforcement officer of the same gender. Diba sa ating DSWD, uh, DSWD, uh, uh, Women and Children Desk, so babae lang. Kung babae, babae. Lalaki, lalaki. The right not to be handcuffed when such is not necessary. So hindi naman kinakailangan na i-handcuff sila, i sila posasan kung hindi naman kailangan. The right to have his parents or guardians present, of course, kinakailangan dyan sa tabi nila ang kanilang mga magulang kasi nga may ordered pa yan. The right to diversion if he or she is qualified and voluntarily avails of the same. So, pwede silang ilagay sa isang diversion program kung if ever na sila qualified o kung mag magbubuluntarily sila na papasok. Number nine, the right to automatic suspension of sentence. Every, every children has the right for automatic suspension of sentence. Bakit? Dahil, uh, for example, hindi nila, hindi nila alam yung ginagawa nila, hindi sila pumasok sa edad, no, hindi, they did not act with discernment, so they cannot be uh, given a for, formal. They cannot be, they cannot 
serve what is not due to them. Kasi may batas tayo na nag-aalaga sa karapatang pambata. The right to provision as an alternative to imprisonment. Of course, yung provision, po pwede silang, uh, sa provision na lang, provision na to, ibig sabihin yung mga uh, uh, correction, uh, prison correctional, which is a term of 6 years below na mga kaso, ng sentence ay 6 years below. So, po pwede silang uh, makapasok sa provision. If qualified under the provision law, which is the 968 Okay, the right to have the records and proceedings involving him be considered privileged and confidential. So, lahat ng gagawin sa kanya, interview, ano pa man, information, pati uh, lahat-lahat is kinakailangan. He dapat i-divulge. He dapat malaman ng publiko because bata yan eh. Pwede yung mabuli o kaya ano pa yan. Madali ang mawalan ng self-esteem, self-confidence. So, as much as possible, wag natin i-divulge. So, yan dapat ang karapatan nila. So, what are the minimum age of criminal responsibility? So, ito yung mga minimum age ng criminal responsibility. So, tingnan natin. At child 15 years of age or under, ibig sabihin, ang edad niya is 15, o kaya nasa uh, uh, 15, at the time of the commission of the offense shall be exempt from criminal liability, but he shall undergo intervention program. So, they are... Daw dito, they are uh, exempted at the age of 15 from criminal liability. A child above 15 years of age but below 18. So, 15 tapos below 18 na naman shall likewise be exempt from criminal liability if he, mayroong, mayroong uh, uh, if he or she acted with discernment. So, if ever na uh, but he shall undergo intervention program. So, hindi siya, hindi niya alam yung ginagawa niya, hindi niya alam yung right from wrong, so, hindi niya pinagandaan, for example, ang kahinatnan. So, if ibig sabihin, so, uh, minimum age of criminal responsibility, so, ibig sabihin, exempt siya, if ever, na he or she acted with discernment. So, may formal proceeding na mangyayari, pagdatong tong niya ng 18, so, sa kanya, kaharapin yung kanyang imprisonment. However, they are exempted only from the criminal liability and not from civil liability. Always remember na hindi sila exempted sa civil liability. Mga danyos, doon sa bikti, pamilya ng biktima, kung ano pa man dyan. Halimbawa, uh, panggamot ng uh, bata, eh, panggamot ng biktima, kung ano pa man dyan. So, kasagutin ng kanyang mga magulang. A child above 15 years of age but below 18 years of age, okay, sa taas ng 15 years, pero sa... Uh, hindi siya lumagpas ng 18, who acted with the sermon, shall be subjected to the diversion proceedings and shall undergo diversion program if qualified. So, mayroon silang diversion program kung saan, uh, diversion proceedings and shall undergo diversion program. Makuha. A child above 15 years of age but below 18 years of age who acted with the sermon and who, ito, is not qualified for diversion dahil masyado ng grief ang kanilang uh, problema or refuse to undergo diversion dahil ayaw nila magpa-diversion shall be prosecuted. prosecuted. Ibig sabihin, akit sa prosecution ang kanyang kaso hanggang sa dumating na tayo sa korte. Treatment of child below the age of criminal responsibility. So, it shall be so, paano natin mabigyan ng treatment? Yung bata na mayroong pananagutan sa batas. It shall be the duty of the law enforcement officer to determine the age of the child apprehended. So, kinakailang alamin nila ang edad ng batang kanilang nahuli. If ever, mayroon ID o kaya naman may, may nakakakilala. Uh, uh, as much as possible, po pwede kukunin nila yung kanyang NSO o PCA. If the child apprehended is 15 years old or below, ang edad niya ay 15 tapos pababa, the law enforcement officer must release the child to the custody of his or his parents or guardians or the child's nearest relative. So, ito turn over yan dun sa kanyang magulang o sa kanyang kamag-anak. It shall also be the duty of the law enforcement officer to give notice to the local social welfare and development officer, the SWD, as to the apprehension of the child in conflict with the law. So, uh, iba parating na mayroong nahuli na bata na ganito. The Comprehensive Juvenile Intervention Program. So, dito, di ba, makakabil nito yung 15 years old and under, 
at saka 15 years old uh, uh, but below 18 years without the cement sa papwede silang makagawil ng comprehensive juvenile intervention program so ito yun eh. Ito ay shall be instituted in local government units from the barangay to the official or the provincial levels. So may mga opisina yan. Shall include community-based programs on juvenile justice and welfare. So marami silang mga program sa community-based na pupwedeng eh, isali ang isang bata para uh, ma-aware siya at saka makakalimutan niya yung kanyang mga masamang gawain. Community-based programs on juvenile justice and welfare. So, ano to? This shall be instituted by the local government units through the school o magitan ng paralan, youth organization, and other concerns agencies. Shall respond to the special needs, problems, interests, and concern of child children and which after appropriate counseling and guidance, guidance to them and their families. So, itong sa community-based program, so, merong in-offer na counseling, guidance, guidance para doon sa mga magulang at sa bata kung paano nila didisiplinahin yung kanilang mga anak. This program shall consist of three levels. So, meron tayong tatlong level kung paano uh, nagkakaroon ng uh, community-based program. So, sinasabi natin intervention program. Number one, includes general measures to promote social justice and equal opportunity which tackle perceived root causes of offending. So, alamin natin uh, kung ano yung punot dulo. So, bibigyan natin ng karapatan lahat both side kasama ng biktima because maaari may biktima siya is katulad niya na bata rin. So, bibigyan natin sila ng primary intervention. So, lahat ng po pwede natin eh, ibigay sa karapatan pambata. So, iyan na natin. Ibibigyan natin. Secondary intervention includes measures to assess children at rest. So, lahat ng mission na binibigay ng batas, assess children at rest, so we must give them. Diba? O, kailangan natin ilapat sa kanila, ibigay sa kanila. So, tertiary intervention includes measures to avoid unnecessary contact with a formal justice system and are measures to prevent reoffending. So, uh, lahat ng measures na pupwedeng uh, uh, pupwedeng makaiwas doon sa kaso ng bata na ilagay siya sa formal justice system court proceedings for example so gawan natin ang paraan tulungan natin yan by the help of other agencies sa tulad ng DSWD by pag-asa program for example and the local government units kung paano uh, hindi na makabalik sa kanyang kinagis ng masamang pag-ugali ang bata para hindi siya makakumit ulit ng kanyang commit ng krimen for example tapos hindi rin siya malagay sa or proceedings so system of diversion ano naman ang sistema kung paano tayo nagkakaroon ng diversion so 